put the phone in the crib and then drive your brother to nursery school. Yo, that is the most creative said, thing I've ever heard of. I said, so, 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 in essence, Dad could hear me choke to death. He's like, well, that wouldn't happen. It didn't happen. You were asleep. And I'm like, I cannot tell the Huffington Post my mother could have courted. They'll, they'll throw you into jail. He's like, no, that this happened. 40 years ago. I, I, I'm sure it's expired. You yeah, can't do that to me. Yeah, not in this day and age. Statues yeah. of limitations, Philip. Statues, statues of limitations. Yeah. Well, they, they oh, make yeah. something new up just to nail it with it. Oh, my God. That's hilarious, bro. Right. <laughs> so, everything is, so everything is true. So, um, And it changes month to month because somebody's going to post something else or my niece or nephew. And yeah. then at the end of the show... I play Facebook trivia and I put someone on stage and they're facing the audience <laughs> and behind them is their Facebook page. Oh no. And I'll find some, I'll find some embarrassing photo and I'll, I'll say in 2011. Oh no. The photo from Halloween, who's licking your face? I now, would die. The audience can see it. Yeah, the audience can see it. The person can't. And if they get it right, and they, you know, the theater buys everybody a drink or whatever, you know. I mean, it's just, it's fun. Uh, yeah. You, know? you talk about putting people on the spot. We kind of do that, too. I'll just go through my contacts list and then dial somebody up and say, hey, buddy, you're live on the air. I caught my buddy the right, other day, right. and he just, yeah, yeah, off guard. Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. Yo, if you did that to me, man, people would look at you and go, this guy's a maniac. What are you putting him up on your show for? This, this guy needs to be behind bars. He's narcissistic psycho right. or something hence the name of the show yeah. talk shit radio you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, man so, so audience, like, they, get, they get involved which is fun yeah that that um makes it a lot more fun i, I i've been to a few shows to where the uh the um the headliner will will actually bring the uh audience in um i wanted to ask you uh you, you touched a little about your family and stuff like that you, you come from a big family yeah, I have four older brothers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Total of five boys. So no, you're no the baby? Sisters. Yes. Ah, join Still. the club. Join the club. Me too. Yeah. Um, you're from New York, obviously, right? I, I, I was born in Connecticut, but I moved to New York, so I would consider myself a New Yorker now. I got you. I got you. Cool. Yeah, so you lived in New York your whole life? Pretty much, yes. Gotcha. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I was born and raised out on the island myself. Yeah, so and I got a few fans up there in Connecticut. So uh, my sister from another Mister, if you're listening, you have a, another Connecticut, a Connecticut, Connecticut. Yeah, I, was, I don't know I if that came raised, out right. I was, yeah, I was born near um, Hartford, Connecticut, in a small little town. It was uh, so small that the hookers were virgins. Oh um, man, that's bad. Yeah. That's uh, real bad. Did they pay one, you? There was only one. Yeah. <laughs> there was only one bar. You know, it was, it, it was nice. I, I went to college in uh, New Haven, Connecticut, and then I, then I just moved to New York. I've been here ever since. I've been out to L.A. for a couple of years, but it wasn't uh, my cup of tea. Yeah, no, it's a crazy place out there. You doing any, uh, you I doing any stand-up or... or? Yeah, I do this. The Facebook show is pretty much that, a storytelling stand up kind of thing. But I, when I was out there, I was like, I was, you know, doing shows that I had meeting people, and then I'd get like a page six or a little gossip thing, and they'd be like, oh, mm -hmm. Philip Galinsky is smoking pot with Andy Dick. And uh, all my <laughs> friends would go nuts because they'd be like, how can you let them write that? Because they know I don't smoke weed. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, we just like, found out. We just found out the other day that Andy Dick has come out of the closet and said that he was bisexual and not gay. Um, so we thought that was quite interesting. Well, he's trisexual. <laughs> yeah, he'll try anything. Yeah, especially my my interpretation of his bisexual deals was the only reason he's bisexual is because. Uh, a uh, chick got a hot boyfriend. But anyway, we'll leave that one alone. Yeah, no, I know what you're saying out there in California. I got a few people that have been out there and, and uh, have tried to do the old uh, California fame thing. And, and it's, a, it's a rough game because uh, the media out there, they're, they're brutal on you, buddy. Brutal. Yeah, and it's, it's like when you're working, it's fine. It's like for me, working, I was doing my show and everything was great. It's like... When you're not working, people are like, oh, go to the beach or go to the mountains. And I'm like, I don't 
do that. I don't care about that crap. You yeah. know what I mean? Nope. It's not my thing. And they're like, oh, you're so New York. And I was like, what? <laughs> what, what? I don't even understand what that means. Uh, no, nah, I don't I don't get that one either. Shows, you wonder why all your friends are having babies. Yeah. We're yeah. doing shows. We would, we would book a hotel, hotel right near the venue, yeah. right? And walk to the venue. And people would be like, why didn't you rent a car? Why didn't you drive? And we're like, why would we do that? They're like, nobody walks in L.A. And we're like, oh, my God, you got to be kidding me. Well, no wonder there's a uh, layer of smog as thick as the smoke that's in here right yeah. now. And then they all, they all do they all do house parties in the, in the hills. And oh. I'm like, I don't, don't want to go in this house and party. I'd rather just party party. You know, Let's like, go to a it club. feels weird. To me. Yeah. Because the, 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 the guy's like, don't, open, don't let the cat out. And I'm like, what if I let the cat out? What's going to happen? Oh, it's going to get eaten by a hawk. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Wow. And then it's like, don't, don't let the don't let the kids play on the front lawn. And I'm like, why? Because there's black widow spiders. And I'm like, what? Where do you live? What do you? What is this place? Listen, down yeah. here in Florida, all right, we got spiders as big as your hand, and they they they're hanging out off the side of the house. You know, we got alligators that I've live in the lakes. The spider forest, I will tell you. Yeah, you, you know, I mean, we got alligators that live in the lakes behind our houses that'll. Forget walking your dog around the lake. You ain't going to have a dog after that. I don't care how big it is. Spiders. That's, yeah. Yeah, it's funny when you come down from New York and you first get here and, and, and you get experience to the uh, the southern lifestyle. It's yeah. um it's yeah. it's quite different, I got to tell you. It's quite different. Yeah, you, you stay like in yeah, your I house or I at the gas station. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize that the depths people go in the south for... Uh, Ambrosia salad. Oh yeah. Stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, it's hard. It's hardcore, man. It's not really up here. Or if it's up here, it's not even as good as it is down there. Mm, uh, you know like, what? Whoa. You know what I miss, and you know what you're a lucky bastard about is the food. The food up there is just incredible, man. I got to drive 30 miles and go to some big old corporate Italian restaurant if I want good Italian food. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, you should. It's, sit, you, if you ever go to L.A. again, don't. Don't get the pizza. It's, it's so bad. Really? There's something about yeah. There's something about the water and the way the water and making yeast and all that stuff. It just doesn't do what it does on the east coast. Yeah, well, where where we're from, bro. People don't people don't know what real New York style pizza is unless you've been to New York and walked up to that little tiny place that's no bigger than your shoe closet and ordered two slices. You know, that's real New yeah. York style pizza. Yeah, and the slices are the size of your head. Yeah, you eat two slices, you're good all damn day, if you can finish the slice, exactly. Yeah, Down yeah. here, man, yeah. you, you spend $11 for a 16-inch or an 18-inch pie, and you get like, uh, what is it, eight slices. Up there for, yeah, the slices are half a pie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what an what a, a amazing uh, difference in, in cultures, but... It, it's unbelievable because half of Long Island is down here. <laughs> but uh, Philip, you know what? I was just gonna say, you know what else is um, a, a big uh, a misser down here is is uh, good bagels. We got this one place, and they call it New York style bagels. But if you've ever eaten a New York bagel, this is not even close. <laughs> So what else you been up to, Philip? I mean, uh, just just doing the uh, the Facebook thing, and and uh, let's talk about the voiceover on the game. How'd you how you come about that, and and your character? Um, I um my my agent uh, knew that I could do you know different voices and stuff, and then she one of the agents from the town agency went to work for Rockstar Games. And he just called me directly, said, I got a project. I can't tell you. You can't tell anybody until it comes out and, uh, for a video game. And I'm like, yeah, what, like Grand Theft Auto Five? And he said, I didn't say that. Oh. And I was like, oh, okay. Ah, so, nice. Yeah, so, so they threw me in the studio, and they you know, they were like, this guy's a, kind of, he's a kidnapper, but he's kind of goofy and funny, and he's all over the Internet. He... he runs a website called Bleeder, just kind of like Twitter. Do you know who and, he's talking uh, about, Hayden? Yeah. I yeah. just played that mission last night. He was on that mission last night. Uh, with the kid, right? I mean, the kid. The yeah. kid's an idiot. Yeah. He kidnapped. kidnapped the kid. You kidnapped, yeah, you kidnapped the kid, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and then we have the, I kidnapped the kid because he's 
making fun of me on the internet. So. Yeah. Can, does his voice sound the same as the, the character on the game? Is it weird hearing it? Not exactly, but it's pretty familiar. So, yeah. You... Not exactly. It's a little more, it's a little more hyper. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you blocked me again, but what you didn't realize is I got your IP. <laughs> Stupid little troll. Right? So I it, said right. something else I can't remember. Yeah, Hayden, your... Hayden says, yep, that's it right there. <laughs> that's awesome, Phil. Okay, so I do, I do an evil laugh, I think. I go, <laughs> That's on the game. You're going to have to call me in there. when, you, when You're going to have to replay that mission yeah, and show gonna me. Yeah, that's going to be my new phone ring. <laughs> I believe I sent uh, you guys the clip to it. Uh, yeah, I did, I did. yeah, we got the clip to it. Hold on. Let me see if I can bring it up. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it, Philip. Um, let's see. Gas plant. No. I'll be back shortly. Yeah, the last one I got was I'll be back shortly and some 11-year-old kid playing the accordion. Uh, Are you near a computer? I can send you it. Are oh, you I'm near five of them. <laughs> oh, I have the link. It's uh, it's somewhere. Resend it to me. Hayden. me? Yeah, yep. I have all the links that you sent me. Um, we I went ahead and uh, and there again, uh, we're going to go ahead and give you a little plug here. Philip Galinsky, he's got, I, I put up on the Facebook page, www talkshit.com forward slash I mean www.facebook.com forward slash talk shit TV show uh, I put up uh, you know all the links that you sent me for your work and um, why don't you go ahead and um, go ahead and tell everybody you know where they can find you and go ahead and throw yourself out there uh, if they can stay you can stalk me on Facebook if you just um, there's actually it's funny there's two Philip Galinskys um, there's me and then there's another guy who is a doctor mm -hmm. of samba, samba dancing. He oh. got his doctorate in samba dance. Oh. Um, don't friend him, friend me. <laughs> uh, I know which one I want to be. If you, if you Google Manhattan Monologue Slam, you get information about that show. Clearbox Pictures is the production company that's doing Forensic Connection. Um, yeah, just... Throw my name in YouTube or Google, and it'll all come up. Shut up, troll! I'm playing the uh, your, your link your, your a celebrity on the voice internet. right now on the. Uh, it was a couple of comments, some the Grand Theft Auto voice. I don't know if you can hear that, Philip, but I got the uh, I got the clip playing of your your game going. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what who's who's doing all that driving, man? Drive like my daughter. To trace your ID. I count on you having better things. That's funny. So that's Philip Galinsky well, for for those of you who are listening to us uh, on the Grand Theft Auto Five page. All right, we'll cut that back out. So, um, what else? You got any more questions for Philip, Joe? Yeah. What, what are you gonna do next? Where are you going from here? What's your what's your goal? Like, uh, yeah. Tell me about that. The goal. Yeah, where are you going next, Philip? Where, where do you see yourself? What, what's your goal from here? The goal is to Money. Uh, do the stay in the voiceover game and, and make a lot of money to then fund the projects that I want to do, like the, the feature film, the forensic connections, and then the other projects that we have in the production company. So ultimately the goal is to be an independent producer. Awesome. Uh, and, you know, there's no reason to try to have to partner up with production companies that are going to try to pitch a pilot to a network where they don't care. Sure. And they're going to just change it anyway. Yep. So just doing it yourself, because you have YouTube and all these other channels that, you know, if people like it, you can do it. There's no barrier to entry anymore. There's no having to pitch things and, you know see if people like it or not it's like just do the work and, that's basically and that's how you know, yeah and, and well said i gotta say thank you well said because um basically here on talk shit radio philip we're doing the same thing we're a new radio station uh uh you know starting off with uh nothing no one you know what i mean we're, we're we partnered yeah. up with a with a uh, simulcasting company um am fm 24 7 and uh, they're getting us out to six states across the country. We're in Tampa. We're in uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, um, Boulder, Colorado, and Las Vegas, Nevada. So, yeah, I, yeah. Tampa, I said Tampa first. Oh. 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, like uh, like Philip said, I mean, there's, there's no reason to, you know, have to wait to 